Bolivian military used Chinese PRC Tiger 4x4 armored vehicle during the military coup attempt last week, but its steering tie rod broke after hitting a curb, leaving Bolivian soldiers struggling to repair it by kicking the damaged wheel. French firm Safran has cleared the cavalry engine for aircraft integration after an audit. Five cavalry prototypes were tested for about 145 hours under a load transient test from idle to maximum reheat for the first time successfully. Shoft Shipyard Private Limited has delivered the third 25-ton bollard pull tug to the Indian Navy. Bangladesh Navy has signed a contract for 800-ton ocean-going tug with India's garden reach shipbuilders. After inducting the Nagastra 1, the Indian Army is all set to place an order for 25 km range Nagastra 2 next generation loitering system by end of the year, that has an impressive endurance of 90 minutes. JNK Police is upgrading its arsenal with the latest arms from Israel and Germany. Indian Army has inducted the first ever indigenous chip-based 4G mobile base station from Bangalore-based firm Signaltron. In a significant move to ensure rigorous monitoring of high-risk offenders, Budgam police have affixed to GPS tracking anklet on an accused terrorist associate. A former air marshal of the Indian Air Force had suggested to revisit the FGFA program, however, media reports indicate that there is no reconsideration of the FGFA program for procurement. Experts have said that India's decision to exit the FGFA was justified due to technical shortcomings, as it failed to meet several key requirements, leading to deficiencies that are unexpected in a fifth-generation fighter. Customizing the FGFA was estimated to require $5 billion, which is significantly more than the $2 billion budget allocated for the recently approved AMCA program, which represents a more cost-effective and strategically independent path for the Indian Air Force. The DRDO has got to go ahead from the Defence Ministry, to start preliminary study on the design and development of indigenous conventional submarines on the Project 76 with a remarkable 80% indigenous content. The preliminary study will be completed by mid-2025, after which a formal case will be put up to the Cabinet Committee on Security for Project Sanction. India is exploring 3D printing for faster missile production, as traditional production methods might struggle to replenish stockpiles quickly, leaving a potential supply gap. The current production capacity might not meet wartime demands, and even full production by traditional methods might only yield 2,000 units per year, a number potentially depleted within two months of intense conflict. The 3D printing technology offers a faster and more scalable solution for producing specific missile components, particularly rocket motors, allowing for quicker replenishment of stockpiles during wartime. The Indian Navy has certified the Seb X2 high-performance explosive developed by Economic Explosives Limited, that is two times more powerful than standard TNT. The new explosive has the potential to revolutionize bombs artillery shells torpedoes and warheads by significantly improving their destructive power without increasing weight. Today's Top 3 Comments